All right, guys, so I'm sure as you already know, Alexia Morano and I'm Jason have been going at it for almost six months now. Going at each other's throats, girlfriend and boyfriend, next minute they're not, the next minute they are. It's just a wacky, dramatic situation here. Nonetheless, I'm Jason's my friend. We've literally FaceTimed for an hour and a half one day, another day we did for almost 30 minutes. We've gotten to know one another, felt for one another, been empathetic for one another, trying to understand each other's lives as friends, yet I still have to report on the drama, even if it involves my friend I'm Jay Station. We're going to be getting into it on today's episode. Nonetheless, let's smash 5,000 likes for YouTube's fastest news network. And if you haven't followed me already on Instagram and Twitter at Real God of Cringe, go ahead and do that. And the fact of the matter is, guys, if you're not subscribed with that bell rung, then you are not up to date. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So basically, what happened about a week ago, Alexia Morano uploaded a video to her channel, which magically disappeared out, vanished into thin air. But we're getting answers today, guys. I watched that video on double speed just before she deleted it. I went ahead and reported on it. Basically, her explaining why she broke up with I'm J Station. He basically was tired of giving her half of the money that Dream Team was earning. It caused a bit of um, tension between the two, which led to arguments. Uh, it happens sometimes when you're in a relationship. You're, you're not always going to agree on everything. Nonetheless, ideally, you'd want to amicably resolve things in, oh, better. He's better. All right, in just a verbal manner. So basically... I think both of them just kind of take it a little too far when they start arguing. Things can happen, and the scene is unfolding today where that kind of rings true. So when I said the video vanished into thin air, no one really knew what happened about it or what happened to it. But Alexia Morano was tweeting out that she felt suppressed and that she felt like she couldn't express herself the way she wanted to almost as if someone else deleted that video or wanted it deleted well now she's tweeting out saying that jay convinced her to delete it because or else he was going to release this video that she just released on her channel the video she just released on her channel is of her doing something she shouldn't have done unfortunately this is now proof and footage which she's released to the entire world of her doing something which is spelled A-S-S-A-U-L-T-E-D to I'm J my friend I'm J Station. She did something she should not have done. She touched his camera. She touched him in a angry way. A way you should never touch another human being. Now I will say this is just a film of her coming at J. We haven't actually seen this entire film, or I'm sorry, the entire scene play out, simply because my best guess is that they were both going at it, arguing uh, very loudly, shall I say. I believe that it's not just Jay. I think she very well herself might have a bit of an attitude problem. Maybe someone who needs to meditate more or to relax and take a deep breath so that she is not so loud and angry in her arguments. Maybe, perhaps, if she was more relaxed and talked to Jay in a very nice, kind, and friendly, calm way in order to resolve situations in ways that are just not taken too far, then I believe that would be a better attribute of hers. She seems in this video, which I'm going to pin, which I'm going to put into the pinned comment, uh, also right here, I'm going to put two tweets that Jay just put out in response to Alexa. Yeah, he claims that in this dispute, he got a cut on his face due to her. So that, once again, leads me to believe that they both kind of went at it just way too much. As to whether she caused him 
any damage to his body? I, I don't know. Uh, he says that she deleted the pictures of the cut to his face and his phone. Just like she deleted the video where they were going to show that the girlfriend prank wasn't really real. With Ahmed in a church and that kind of thing. Singing and stuff. So I, I'm, I believe my friend that she did in fact go into his phone and maybe delete those pictures. Because she just seems like that kind of person. I think she's way too young for a relationship. I believe she's like 22, but I think she's acting more like she's 17. Watch the video down below in the top pin comment. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm really curious to hear your point of view. You've heard mine. Uh, I think they both need to basically just go to marriage counseling or relationship counseling so that they can calmly and in a relaxed way talk about things and work things out. I don't have any proof that Jay has raised her voice to her. However, she certainly needs this um, this counseling in order to learn how to calmly uh, uh, and respectfully find solutions and talk about things so that both parties are happy. No matter what, they both are going to have to come to a reasonable agreement with their future partners, whether it be them again or somebody else, because you got to compromise. That's what a relationship and a friendship is about. Two, two people with different desires coming to an agreement in order to enjoy their time together. Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. Let's smash 5,000 likes for YouTube's fastest news network. And if you haven't followed me already on Instagram and Twitter at Real God of Cringe, go ahead and do that. And the fact of the matter is, guys, if you're not subscribed with that bell rung, then you are not up to date. And thank you so much for watching.